All right, to close out today's video goodness, I thought I'd get into Vegas odds. Um, when I was in Vegas, I was very interested in the odds of the Stanley Cup. And July, I'll be darned if they didn't have odds to win the Stanley Cup already up there for 2019. And it was interesting to see who they had the highest. And that's changed over the last month and a half. So let's get into it. Um, <clears throat> these point totals you see here are the over-unders. So this is, you can go in and bet that your team's going to get more than 98.5 points if you're the Capitals, or that they're going to get under 97.5 if they're Columbus. What's interesting is, and what set me down this path, is that there's an ar article by Travis Yost on TSN right now about how uh, the Atlantic Division won't have any actual um, drama to their to the regular season, even though the odds makers only have Toronto one point behind Tampa. He's saying won't be anything really to talk about during the regular season because it's going to end up the same. Everybody sees Tampa, Toronto, and Boston. Florida's nowhere near, and I'm thinking they are though. See, according to these predictions. Florida finishes top eight. So the top eight are on the left in both the west and the east. Missing the playoffs is on the right-hand side. So what they're saying is that we're going to see some turnover. They see Dallas making the playoffs and St. Louis making the playoffs. They've got five teams from the Pacific making it. Actually six. So one of these teams is going to miss. Because you can't have six teams from one division and one team. Or two teams from the other. So, in this prediction, L.A. ends up getting into the playoffs because of where they're at. And I double-checked, and according to the odds makers, they do have L.A. ahead of Calgary, even though the over-under points is exactly the same. Stanley Cup is the whatever-to-1 odds. You'll notice that the Capitals are 12-1 to ahead of Philadelphia, who are 25-1. to The interesting one to me, of course, is Florida at 50-1, to but hey. Florida's never won much of anything. They haven't won a round since 96. So I would understand people not wanting to pick them for the Stanley Cup. <clears throat> An interesting value pick to me is the Anaheim Ducks at 33-1. to 1. Yeah, I'm, I'm picking them to miss the playoffs because I'm crazy. But 33-1, um, to 1, it's kind of a tempting thing. You put down $3 and you win about 100 So that it's not a bad bad bet. So it pays out as, as $7 on the dollar if you bet on Winnipeg right now and, and they win it at the end of the year. Uh, your longest odds, Ottawa at 150 to 1, followed by Detroit at 100 to 1, and then oddly enough, um, Carolina at 80 to 1, even though they have 84 and a half points according to the over under, Vancouver is a 75 to 1, although their over under for points is 77.5. They have the Canucks finishing ahead of Ottawa, the Rangers, and Detroit, and just behind Buffalo. So Buffalo fans won't like this. Because this, and I double check, this is up to date. This is the current projection of where everybody's going to finish. So for Flames fans, this will make them happy. Same with Buffalo. Uh, Montreal fans are going to say that seems a little high based on last season, but I still say Montreal bounces back. And that's right in about where I have them. I might even take the over on Montreal. So I'm going to go through and I'm just going to say uh, where I think your best picks are. I think Toronto finishes ahead of 106. I think 106 is, is conservative. Um, I think Boston could end up under 102. I, I could see them finishing at 96 or 97. The Capitals at 98, eh, I think they probably finish with about 100. Remember, last season we had 10 teams finish with 100 or more points. This board only shows 6 finishing with 100 or more points. So right away, if you bet the over on everybody, you're probably going to make it money. You're losing spectacularly depending on how you bet. Um, the lowest, of course, is Ottawa at 71.5. Very popular to put them right at the bottom. Remember, last season, the over-under on these guys was 70.5. And, and the Stanley Cup odds were hundreds to one. And that's why we don't see that right now. The highest it gets is 100 to one. They don't let it go beyond that, except for Ottawa, because whatever. Ottawa's not going to win it, so this might as well be a million to one. But Vegas isn't going to make that mistake, are they? No. There won't, there won't be any bigger odds, I would think, than this. Unless halfway through the season, Ottawa's you know, got 15 points. Then I could see them hitting two or 300 to 1 because they're not going to make the playoffs. A interesting to me is the Rangers at 50 to 1. Uh, the, the Islanders being this high actually surprises me. 
that they're projecting them at 83 and a half points for the over under. A lot of people are going to take the under on that. Uh, they project the New Jersey Devils falling out and the Florida Panthers getting in. Um, I, of course, have Columbus falling out and Florida getting in. Uh, they have Dallas in, Colorado out. Uh, the Kings are in only because of where they are. Oh, no, Dallas wouldn't make it because the Kings end up bumping them out because they're the number three overall in this division. And if it ends up happening that way that Dallas misses the playoffs, even though they have a better record than the number three rated team in the Pacific, you can look for a lot of complaining. I won't complain because it's whatever. It's just it's it's how, how hockey works. Um, but it, it's, it's a reality. Uh, Colorado, they have missing the playoffs altogether. And they have St. Louis in the playoffs. St. Louis is a sexy pick for everybody, and they have them at 25-1 to 1 odds for the Stanley Cup. Ahead of Anaheim, and well ahead of Minnesota at 40-1 to 1, or 40 to 1 odds. Interestingly enough, they have Chicago at 33-1, to 1, even though they have Chicago nowhere near the playoffs. So they say Chicago and Anaheim have the same odds to win the Stanley Cup. It's interesting. It's interesting to look at and see where they have everybody. Look at Edmonton, 25-1 to 1 odds. Edmonton has the exact same odds as St. Louis. Edmonton has the same odds as Philly and Columbus. Even though Edmonton missed the playoffs and not very many people are taking to make the playoffs, and even by the over-under totals, the Oilers still missed the playoffs. But Vegas looks at this and goes, yeah, but if they get in, they've got a shot because they got that McDavid kid. So there you go. Uh, let me know where you think things are wrong. And again, I'm not encouraging gambling. I don't gamble myself. Uh, but I'm, I'm always interested in looking at what the gamblers have to say and what the odds are at. Uh, because again, that's where all this gets, this gets set. Vegas is only a twelve to one odd, meaning Vegas has the same chance to win the Stanley Cup, according to the odds makers, as Washington and Boston, and better than Pittsburgh. So Pittsburgh at fourteen to one really looks like a value buy to me. But there you go. Uh, we may look at this again during the season. It, it is interesting to look at because these these numbers will change. The odds to win the Stanley Cup are fun to look at during the year when they change rapidly after November. But uh, let me know your thoughts, who you think on this board is going to end up paying out big time, or who you think is, is being overrated at this, this stage of the game, and how accurate are these to the standings that we'll end up seeing in the NHL. I think Washington, I have them at about 7th overall in the league. I think they're a little low on this board. I would move them up a couple of spots, but again, uh, we'll see how things shake out. So again, training camps next week. This is stuff to discuss while we get ready for training camp. And again, I, I do get asked here and there by people who gamble, what do you think? What do you think of this? Who do you think is going to win? This is what Vegas thinks. Uh, the over-unders for point totals and, and the, the, the odds, this is what Vegas has to say about it. And Vegas knows it's gambling. Knows it's gambling quite well. And uh, every almost every major um, casino that you go into, there will be a large sports booking area. And it's... Uh, it's, it's an intimidating wall and a lot of fun to look at. And it was really tempting for me to put some money down, but I didn't do it. Um, but again, if, if I end up, you know, if I put down $10 on, on just, just 10 bucks, 10 bucks on Ottawa. Sure. 10 bucks on Ottawa, I could win $1,500. So that's, that's the amazing part. And that's where the tempting part comes in to, to bet on the long shots and just see what happens because of what Vegas did last year. So there you go. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. Just tapping upon this video. And this is what Vegas has to say about who could win the Stanley Cup and who ends up making the playoffs. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.